You got to be careful and how you progress someone into these types of activities. So it's progressing them with so many contacts in a session. I set up the six minutes. You don't start with six minutes of bouncing. You start with a minute of bouncing. Hi, my name is Bill Parisi. I'm the founder of the Parisi Speed School. We started back in 1992. We've been in business. I've been a coach for now 30 plus years. We've trained over a million athletes. Uh, we put hundreds of guys in the NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, all different types of pro athletes. But our focus has been the youth and high school athlete. So. Talking about free energy and the fascia system, the connective tissue system, a lot of times I like to talk about different athletes, right? So basketball players, they're all, you know, NBA players, Division One athletes, you know, a lot of high school, high school basketball players, they're fascia driven. They're all fascia driven. Why? They're lean. Not too many athletes are really big and bulky or great basketball players, right? I mean, the, someone like LeBron James has more muscle than Kevin Durant, right? They're both fascia driven, but Kevin Durant is more connective tissue driven or fascia driven, right? So LeBron James is, is, has a little, more, a little more muscular driven. You can just look at him and see it. When you look at football athletes, fullbacks, linebackers, they're a combo, right? Linemen, they're more muscular driven. Wide receivers, defense or backs, they're more connective tissue driven. So first, what's your drivers, right? So those guys get more free energy from their connective tissue uh, system. And how you train them, how you go about them, because you can really slow a fast guy down if you lift them too much. If you take a wide receiver or a DB and you train them the same way you train a lineman, you can be you can be limiting his connective tissue system and his free energy, right? We talked about kangaroos getting free energy. When they jump, what's free energy? Well, I have this you know simple three pound weight, right? I can I can lift this up and down for for a while, and uh, you know after a while, after maybe 20 minutes or so, or t I'm going to get tired. This three pound weight's going to get heavy, but then I have this elastic cord. And I, all I do is something really simple. I wrap the cord around the, around the weight, right? Now, I have this cord and I'm just holding it in place. That's, that's a lot easier and that's a lot of free energy that's coming from, from the elastic cord. So this, this energy, this rubber is exactly, in terms of the types of recoil we get, we want to develop in our body. So that's what we're doing when we do dynamic training and we do, we do quote unquote fascia related training, we bounce, we do different things. So having an element of these things in a way where you're not gonna mechanically overload the system, you gotta be careful. Because we, you can mechanically overload, meaning the, the, the bones, you know, the connective tissue. You, don't, you gotta be careful in, in how you progress someone into these types of activities. So it's progressing them with so many contacts in a session. I set up the six minutes. You don't start with six minutes of bouncing. You start with a minute of bouncing. And then you add, you add different bouncing activities. So that's that's important uh, element of, of connective tissue training, fascia training, recoil training, if you will.